Greetings, in this video, I'm going to go into my grid editor and sequence samples that I resampled into the MPC Live. Check it out. Okay, so if you look here, I'm on my getting started project and I'm on the B part here. I actually wanna to go to B part three and I'm on track seven and I have drums two. Okay, so basically drums two is the main drum part inside of this sequence. What I'm going to do is go into the grid editor where I have a part already sequenced and go ahead and rearrange some of the some of the uh, triggers or the notes. Okay, so what I wanna do is take drums two, go into my grid edit, and you can see here, this is my sequence. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take these snare parts and kind of rearrange them with the new snare parts that are recorded in the previous video. So if you wanna hear what those parts are, here's what they are. And actually, let me go here so you can see them. So if I go here, okay, so, this is pad one. Okay, this is pad two. This is pad three. This is pad four. Pad five. Six. Seven. Pad eight. Pad nine. Ten. 11, 12, this is 13, 14, 15, and 16. So basically I recorded all these in the previous video and then I just came in and cut down the slices. I didn't show you that part because I have that done in a previous video. So check that out if you haven't. All right, so back to the matter at hand. I'm gonna go to main, grid editor, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and change some of these notes out. Let me zoom in onto the part here. And this is a good point right here. So let me go back. I need to reassign my snare. So let me go to my master, go to that snare, that pad there, and then change it back to out one and two. There we go. All right, back to the grid editor. All right, so I'm just gonna go in there and start tweaking this. That one right there. I'm going to select it and transpose it. So if I click transpose, I can basically just transpose it back up to where these samples were and then keep going through it until I find one I like. Not that one. That's the one I want to use. I like that, that, uh, that reverb one. And then I might actually take one of these hi-hats out to, so you, so it gives that, uh, snare a little more space there. So I'll just cut it out. Yes, sir. All right. So next part. This one, I want to change this one, this snare. And I want it to be kind of like a roll, like a So I don't remember which one it was. So let me get to my pad here. One of those. Maybe that one. I I thought I had a better roll in there. Okay, that sounds okay. I might leave it on that one for now. Again, here's what it is. This one, I want to change as well. This one here. Mm -hmm. 
So let me hear what I have so far. You know what I can also do? I'm going to solo the drum part so we can really hear it. I think there was a better drum roll. Yeah. I'll go with that for now and let me go to this part now and edit this one. I think I want to add another snare right there actually. Something like that, and then I'll transpose that probably to a different one. Let's see. Definitely want to do something right here. Maybe nudge this a little bit. So anyway, I want to try this. I want to go back to this now. Go back to here. I didn't like that. I'll erase that. I'm going to change this one to the reverb sound. That's the one there. So I'll pull it up to date. Is that the one I wanted to do? This one. I'll pull this one back to here, and then I want to do this. Watch. All right. Do that. Zoom her in here. Let's erase that one, and then do this. That's what it is. This is what I'm hearing. So I'll pull this one back. To here. I want that one there. And I want this one back to here. Let's try this. Yeah, something like that.
something like that, right? And then I want to do this again right here. Get rid of some of these hats. Cut them out. Let's kind of give it a little variety, you know? So I didn't really like this part. I'll take that note out. I'll just cut it. It's easier just to cut it. And so um, what I want to do probably is just add some snares right here. Let's see. Like right there and right there maybe. Probably nudge that. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Like that, let's see. Yeah, that's okay. That sounds okay. Um, and then what I wanna do is something simple. I'm trying to keep it simple, but still have some kind of variety. Um, but what I wanna do here is I want to go to that bass line really fast. And it's on what this first measure, the fourth beat of that first measure, I'm going to kind of cut it out. So check this out. Come here, come here, come to my bass line, which is this one. I'll come here. So it's the fourth one. So it's this note. Go ahead and select it. Edit endpoint to about there. So let's hear this. And then on that one, which note is that? That's. Let me go back to the other track. Track six. And this one is 2.4. So I'll go back to 2.4, but on this other track, where's it at? So now I want to go back to this one here, go back to 2.4, cut this note out, is what I'm thinking. Cut that note. So I'll just cut it. I'll edit the end point here so it's right on 2-4. Alright, did you hear that? That was that was um that was okay. I gave it a little variety. Boom. I want to put another bass drum there and that should be good to go with this particular line. So let's go back to here. Let's go back to here and I want to do another bass note. So right here, actually, another bass note right into there. Now this is why I like the MPC Live because you can just go in here and everything's visualized and you can just edit it up, you know? <laughs> right there it's exactly what I was hearing okay and before I end the video I'm just going to go back and do something on camera that way you can see what I did because basically I want to show everything I do on camera or at least try to so let me go ahead and go back to the B part right here actually it's part four <laughs> See right there, I think that was a little bit too much for that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is find that note, which is right here, it looks like. And I think I'm gonna transpose it up to the... Maybe that one. Yeah, I think that works. I'm gonna keep that there and um, yeah, that's good to go right there. 
All right, so I'm running out of space on my memory card. Um, I think this video has gone on long enough. So go ahead and stay tuned. Check the next video out. If it's not up, it will be soon. My name is Matthew. Smash the like button, subscribe, continue to create, and I'll see you in the next video.